Hey everybody, welcome to a new video from NZ Pocket Guy. Today I'm with my mate Will, which is from Save the Kiwi, and we're gonna talk about the Kiwi bird, especially 10 tips on how to spot Kiwi birds in the wild when traveling in New Zealand. So stick around. All right, Will, so uh, what makes you the expert at uh, spotting kiwis in the wild? I've been working with kiwis for about seven years now, um, doing a lot of night work, so trying to spot birds in the wild. Um, also, um, you know, doing health checks. Um, yeah, working for a couple of kiwi projects, so. And we just released the two kiwi birds in the wild together right now, so yeah. That, that, yeah, yeah. He has credentials. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna talk about 10 tips on how to spot kiwi birds in the wild. So the first tip is that kiwi birds are nocturnal, so you kinda need to look around at night, right? Yeah, so the best thing to do when you're, when you're out kiwi spotting in the dark is to stop and listen. You can generally hear them uh, rustling around in the bush. Um, often when they come out of the burrow for the first time, they'll call, so kiwis have very specific calls. Um, females and males are very different though. Um, so you're listening for that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Nice. Um, okay, so the best time, therefore, to actually look for kiwi birds are, you know, just right in the middle of the night, or is it just before dawn, before dusk? Like, what, what would be the best time during the night to actually spot kiwi birds? Yeah, kiwis are quite active. Well, they're active all night, but um, you know, just after they've emerged from their burrow, so it's generally uh, anywhere from about half an hour to an hour after after sundown. Uh, it needs to be quite dark. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So. Um, uh, one of the way to kind of spot uh, to see if a kiwi bird is nearby and one experience that I had myself is to look for some footsteps uh, around, especially if say in some muddy area. That's how I spot my kiwi bird in uh, Stewart Island. And so do you have any other like tracking uh, method that you could employ in order to actually spot a kiwi bird in the wild? Yeah, um, if you want to know if kiwi are present in the area, you can look for footprints. Um, so they do have very unique footprints. You might want to Google it, but... <laughs> yeah. I've heard a video of, of the footprint I spotted, so okay. like, you, guys, you guys can see what it is. Um, kiwi poop as well, so I'm always looking out for kiwi poo, um, doing the sniff test to make sure it is kiwi poo. Uh, that has a very unique smell also. Um, okay, you have the to know kiwi like poo <laughs> smell test. Um, good luck for uh, you guys just, uh, you know, mastering this one. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so when you are uh, thinking that a kiwi bird is nearby and when you see some rustling around the bushes and everything, you obviously need to be super calm and move well, like really slowly, right? You don't want to frighten the bird. Yeah, you just want to be really calm. Um, you don't want to make any sudden movements. You want to sort of keep your distance, not get too close. Um, you know, sort of view it from, from like five to 10 meters away. Um, yeah, so they don't run off. But... Okay, and we are nearby an army base. I think we're about to be a shot at. Uh, okay, so <laughs> since uh, we have to look for kiwi birds in the dark, uh, can we use any uh, given torchlight to look for kiwi birds? I would definitely use a, a torch with a red light filter. Um, it just stops them from running off there, you know, doesn't give them a fright.
They're more relaxed if it's if it's not too bright in their faces, right? Yeah. Nobody likes to be awakened yeah. with a with a big red light. Big yeah, bright never, light. never use a, a bright torch and, yeah. and shine it straight on the boot. Nice. Uh, all right, cool. So, um, okay, you spotted the Kiwi bird. There is rustling in the bushes. You actually now see the Kiwi bird. Do you like rush toward it and uh, and try to take a photo of it, or do you stand still and let it come toward you? Yeah, definitely not. Just stay where you are, <laughs> and if you're lucky, um, it might come towards you. If you're not, it probably goes off into the bush, and and I'll just leave it be after that. Okay, cool. Um, so um, now that you've seen the Kiwi bird, it gets really close to you. Can you actually pet it if the Kiwi bird is close enough? Uh, no, you can't touch Kiwi. And, um, they are very sensitive, so they have very um, sensitive, like, uh, with their, their bill and, um, and around the face area. Um, they're also quite um, vulnerable, so they, have a, they don't have a breastplate, a breastbone, um, so they can easily get crushed or okay. um, something like that. As well, um, the bigger females and males have very long claws, so they can actually kick you and do some damage, so I wouldn't... Uh, yeah, I can those. attest to that, there's <laughs> a lot of scratching around. Um, all right, so uh, let's say you're with your mate, you are with the Kiwi birds and everything. So what about not cornering them around? That's, that's pretty important, right? Don't just arrive from different angles to the same bird, right? Yeah, yeah, try to stick together. Uh, make sure there's an escape route if the bird's feeling stressed or um, then it can just go off and do its own thing. And finally, the last one, it's another don't do, uh, and I know it sounds a little bit like PC, but yeah, another thing not to do as well is to not stray off the hiking path and start running after the Kiwi bird in the bush, right? Yeah. You don't follow a Kiwi bird, right? Yeah, don't follow bird um you're leaving a scent trail for predators to follow um but also there can be we have a lot of uh endangered uh fauna um in the bush that you could crush um but yeah it's just yeah i know it's a bit boring but stick <laughs> to the hiking trail all right guys so if you did find this video useful make sure to hit a like to hit like to subscribe to the channel if you want to if you want to join us on patreon it's a great place to hang out with us and support us financially and uh, yeah if you did find wheel useful and and you know pretty and all that kind of things i will put wheels instagram account uh, either on screen or in the description we will arrange that together so you ladies can hit him up <laughs> in the meantime you keep traveling awesome bye bye can we just do one thing i see the yeah. fauna yeah. I was meant to say flora. Flora, yeah. It's fine, I can just can edit, edit it. it. Yeah, I can yeah, I can just put it on, on top of it.